Hi, so I'm hanging out in a spot that is sort of between our property and the river. There's nobody around. I love it here. This is a great spot. Uh, I, I love our property and I love the paddocks, um, but I also love this wild bit of bush just behind our property. And I can hear the river in the distance. I don't know if you can, you can hear the birds. You know, the sun's going down. It's pretty amazing. I just wanted to um, post something about coronavirus and the current situation we're all going through, all of us, the entire planet, in one way or another. Um, I'm incredibly lucky. I'm in self-isolation now. My partner CJ just had come back from New York not too long ago, just before it all turned bad. And so he's in self-isolation and I am also as a result. Uh, we are very lucky. We have our little local um, grocery store has started an online form for ordering groceries, which they will actually deliver for free and leave at your gate if you're in self-isolation. And then they leave the receipt and then you jump online afterwards and pay them after you've received the food uh, through a bank transfer. Um, that's amazing. Uh, I love rural New Zealand because of that and, and many other reasons. Um, I know that, you know, this is really hard for a lot of people. It's, 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 it's hard for everybody. I, I wrote a post recently. I'm, I'm worried about family in the States quite a bit. I'm worried about people I care for here in New Zealand. I mean, I'm worried about, as we all are, we're kind of worried about the planet. Um, it's scary. We don't know what the implications of this sort of international shutdown will be after, after COVID's over. We don't know how long that will be. There's a lot of uncertainty right now. I have had days where I completely spin out with anxiety, um, but I've also started getting up and meditating every morning, which is really important for me. It's a practice that I used to have uh, quite regularly and have sort of fallen out of it with life. And um, I'm really grateful to be back into it. I'm only meditating for 15 minutes every morning. Um, it's incredibly, incredibly calming for me. When I do that, I find that uh, I'm just, it's, it's like I'm on drugs. <laughs> it's like I, afterwards I feel such a lack of anxiety. I, I accept all of the uncertainty and I focus on what I can control. Um, so that's, that's one thing I'm doing to, to try and um, get through what is really a, a scary time. Um, I'm also counting my blessings. I am, I am very fortunate to be where I am and to be in lockdown uh, it, here. Um, I'm very grateful for that. Uh, it's important that we all have gratitude for the things that, and people that we, we have in our life. Um, and it's important that we all try not to spin out into fear. Um, it's really easy to spin out into fear um, in this scenario. And uh, I don't know, I just, I, I, it's not like I have any, um, any great wisdom to share, but I, I just wanted to sort of share what I'm doing uh, to try and cope with this. For me, it, it's meditation and also yoga. I, I don't do the yoga as regularly as the meditation, but I typically get up, do 15 minutes of meditation and 15 minutes of yoga. Um, the yoga is an extra bonus for me. Um, anyway, here's, you know, me in self-isolation reporting from the sunset. Just thought I'd say, hey, I wish everybody who's watching this all the peace that you can find in this moment all the freedom from fear, all the acceptance of all the things that we can't control. And um, I wish you all safety and health. Take care.